Welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Don't stall. Don't stall. So I'm just gonna run the train backwards and forwards just for a couple of minutes. It's not a rant, it's not a complaint, it's not anything other that other than well, it'll make sense in in, in, a, in a minute because there's something that's been grating on me for a, probably for about 18 months now. So I'm just going to run this back as a forward. So once I've had my little say and get it off my chest, I'm just going to then just show you there's a pile of stuff there. So it's just going to be a very quick video. But I'm... I don't know where to start really because... Um, There's been, let's say, a few complaints about um, trolls, gatekeepers, whatever you might call them. Uh, a number of channels have either given up or they've um, discontinued their channel and restarted. Um, I'm not going to appeal to all these people that are saying nasty things and doing thumbs down. But I do want to know, and I'll iterate some what someone else has said, that why are you coming on YouTube airing your dirty washing, your dirty laundry? You know, I believe it's, you know, the whole drama is just, for, just to get views. I'm not going to mention, apart from one channel, I'm not going to mention any because... Um, you know, someone's put up a video and it's got like 9k views and, you know, personally, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not into the channel basically, so I don't watch it. Um, I've actually got him blocked, but, um, you know, all about sort of trolls and this, that and the other, it just, <sighs> you know, I can't change the opinion of a bad people and I'm going to make an example my <laughs> my um, wearing my prosthetics you know which is a bloody you know I'm chuffed but um, I got four dislikes on it and I'm just like I'm so thick skinned it really doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all it doesn't you know thumbs down me as much as you like you know uh, if you know, I've had comments like, I don't really want to see this on my screen or I'm not comfortable watching you like this. Um, you know, I, I, I've had my fair share of, shall we say, nasty comments, but I don't let it get to me and I'm certainly not going to give up YouTube just because of it. And there's, a you know, a number of people that, um, you know, that are thinking about you know, yes, YouTube has changed. It's it's become very weird. But why stop doing something that you love doing? You know, just put up a video when you want to put up a video. Uh, you know, whatever your layout is, that's your layout. You know, no, no one's got the right to tell you how to do things or, you know, or this wouldn't pull this train or you know um i've seen channels in the past that have put milk tankers with oil tankers and people are oh you can't do that you know this that and the other you can't put milk tankers and oil tankers if he wants to put milk tankers with oil tankers what the hell just you know no one's asking you to watch stuff you know um if you don't like model railways you don't watch model railway channels you know, if you want to see a woman in a short skirt and a skimpy top with a cleavage, then, you know, stick that in your search bar and you'll come up with plenty of that stuff. If you want to watch remote control aeroplanes, stick that in your search bar and it will come up. And then you can decide which channels you want to subscribe to or not, you know. No one's asking you to watch any of these channels. And as I said, I'm not going to appeal to the, the trolls because they do it for one reason. They, they want reaction from you. So, you know, um, I'm going to mention Alan from Dragon Junction. 
I know he won't mind me saying this. Um, Alan, don't let these fuckers get to you. Excuse the language, but you know, I know you. You're kind of a little bit down and everything else, and I, I get that. I understand it, and it does. You know, good people will not bring bad people up to their level. Bad people will bring good people down to their level. Um, there's been a couple of instances on YouTube. I don't know whether what this guy's done. I've asked for people for proof. Um, seems a bit of a witch hunt to me. I'm not sticking up for the bloke. Um, I know my face Facebook account was hacked roughly around the same time that he he said that his was. Um, you know, I don't... Until I've got proof, then I don't believe any of it. Because... I've asked for people for proof and they've said, oh, they've got loads of proof. And I said, well, show me the proof and, you know, I'll get on board. But until that time, you know, I'm going to have an open mind. I'm not sticking up for the guy and I'm not sticking up for the other people. I'm very independent on it. But I do feel like it's a bit of a witch hunt against this person. And, um, you know, I'm sure he's done some things that people have not agreed with but you know sent all i've seen is a screenshot a snippet of a green screenshot um not seen the conversation before or after you know so like i said i don't know what went on but why are you airing your dirty laundry out on youtube you know this, this hobby is supposed to be fun so i really i've probably waffled on a little bit more than I really wanted to but I just wanted to say don't give up your channel just because a few bad comments or some thumbs down and stuff you know what it's it really it doesn't matter um it's gonna stop it there it, it doesn't matter and you know as I said Alan don't don't let them get to you mate just get your mojo back you carry on doing what you do you got a fantastic layout and, um, you know, people want to watch because they want to watch. And just because you get some nasty comments is, you know, I know it's easy for me to say be a bit more th thick skinned, but you could just delete comments, you know, or you can name them, shame, shame them. But that's what these people are wanting a reaction. So, um, you know, like I said, I've, I've had more than my fair share just because I'm disabled doesn't make me immune to any of the, the nasty shit that goes on. But, um, yeah, just just do what your subject matter is, you know, whatever it is, playing the piano or the banjo or, you know, model railways, whatever, um, and just enjoy it and enjoy your hobby. And don't, you're always going to get nasty people on the planet. It's just, it's just, way people are I basically so that's all I really wanted to say is just um yeah just ignore it just stupid people so let them let them do what they gotta do you know right just a few bits to show you today I wanted to show them before I go and paint them and all that because I like to justify that it's me done so one of the other scenes that's is the first part to it it's a uh, um, a saloon, so uh, I'm left the top off because we got some really nice details inside actually. So <laughs> really going to enjoy looking forward to painting this. But yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a western scene going on. So let me just put the lid on. So that's what it will look like once it's together. Um, I'm loving this 3D printer stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. And, you know, the details are just amazing. Obviously, I've got to glue all the parts together. Sorry, I'm just about to sneeze. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I'm going to go, obviously, going to get a couple more of these buildings and have a little a bit of a Western scene going on, a Western movie. Then we've got, Put this at the front. This is what I was on about, Mr. Dodge, Anthony Dodge. Um, 
Dodge Charger. That's why I was asking what colour it should be painted. It looks a bit overscaled, but it is OO, OO gauge. But um, if you put it next to a, like a, a normal car, it does look bigger. But this is actually true to scale, believe it or not. So I'm probably going to paint that black ant need to be honest um because i don't have i think you said petty blue so i don't i don't have that so i'm just going to paint it black um we got our school bus i'm just again this is all sort of with the apocalypse seeing the last few bits that have come in obviously it comes in two parts so for obviously painting inside and everything else Got old caravan, so again, should enjoy painting these items up. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of details to pick out on them, so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a pain. And we got here is a slum stack, so a stack of slum. So I'm just going to put it together. Just wait again, show you um, all the details inside. Not that I don't think you, you're you actually going to be able to see inside apart from like, you know, the doorway and the small sort of window there. It's going to be quite hard. So really the, the last item I like to show you, it's quite tall, so I'll come back a little bit. So is my slum stack. <laughs> this, is, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a challenge, shall we say, to paint uh, because there is a lot of, really small details on it but really i'm just the whole 3d printing things just they're really good so that's the last thing for the, the apocalypse scene so again i know it's nothing to do with well it is to do with trains because obviously it's going on with the 009 section and obviously the main line but um just yeah i, I suppose i wanted to show you in its unpainted state and I shall yeah literally after this video crack on with it so um that's all I wanted to show you just really just you know I said if you go on eBay and Highlands 3d print or you can go on there Highlands 3d print um dot com website and yeah you know absolutely 3d printing is brilliant fantastic love it it's just you know and and to buy a model like that if you can actually could buy a model like that but if you wanted to buy something like this this would cost you an absolute fortune and probably give you a real headache putting it together as well i mean yeah you can create something yourself but i mean really just how look how good does that look so uh, I've toned down the roof a little bit over there. That looks a lot more happier with it now. Um, so I think that's all I've really got to say. I just, I'm predominantly I wanted to do this video because I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't, I'm not upset, but I'm, it's starting to, if, if for 18 months now, this has been going on at least. You know, YouTube has really changed and, um, you know, and people just being spiteful just for the sake of being spiteful. I mean, come on, you know, I, I, and like I said, I'm not going to appeal to those people because it's pointless because they'll never watch or if they do, um, you know, they're just going to keep doing what they do because that's just in their nature, just some sweaty dude behind a keyboard, just writing nasty comments, just trying to get reactions out of people. And, you know, so don't give up your YouTube channel. Keep doing what you're doing, you know. And if you get a nasty comment, take a screenshot, delete it, or name and shame them, you know. It's as simple as that, you know, it's... World's become really sort of nasty, like you know, and um, I, like I said, I'm not 
in any way immune to any of this stuff. You know, I've had my fair share of nasty comments, but I just don't. You know, I've mentioned it to a few people in the past, like Mike from the Great White North, but, you know, it's it's better just, just ignore them because, you know what, they'll get bored and they'll move on, just like school bully, bullies, like, you know. So just don't give up your channels, you know, just do the thing that you love, you know, and fuck them, basically, literally, fuck them. So that's all i got to say. Um, <laughs> have a nice day, people. Love to you all. So, <laughs> I know Valentine's Day's gone, but there you go. So, yeah, take care, everyone. And, uh, Anthony, just before, if you do watch this, if you might want something like this from Matt Clark, if you do, just email me, mate. I can get some bits and bobs. So, yeah, just let me know, mate. Okay, see you next time. Bye now.